Hello, I'm John Waters, and I've been studying art, just like this real sign for a now defunct Baltimore art school had always instructed me to do. The sign may be long gone, but thank God I got a photo of its completely serious, unironic, artistically incorrect message that has inspired me for decades. You too should study art, for all the wrong reasons. The word unwatchable is the ultimate insult in film criticism. But when unwatchable movie images are kidnapped off the screen and isolated out of context, going to the movies can now never be a disappointment. Using photography as a writing tool, I hope to become a failed publicist and a hack rewrite man to make fun of fame. Translating my show business insider knowledge into a celebration of the frustration and humiliation of creating anything, maybe I can merge the art world and the movie world together at last. If you edit, refocus, and rewrite every motion picture that you believe fails, you will have a whole new kind of cinema style. Who can sit in the bad real estate of a director's chair except a damaged control freak who has enough faith in his or her own faulty vision to risk crossing over to the much scarier world of the artist? That's called glory. After a film has been exploited in all media, the art can finally begin. Taking images photographed directly from the TV screen and using them for your own redesigned storyboards can enhance everything that is wrong with the movies. All director's work is equal if no one is watching. A narrative made up of forgotten, commercially spent stills can be even better than film scene first run, a clumsy accidental triumph taken right off the video monitor. All footage is rare footage that doesn't even know it. Breeding, if you will. Watching a movie should be like bounty hunting. Out of context, every image of the cinema is yours for a split second. Take it before they bury it. Then these pitiful new movies made up from the scraps of others won't be anybody else's but your own. By defacing, removing, and severely editing the failed moments of my own work and the underpraised work of others, maybe I can look at films that were initially dismissed or despised in a more optimistic way and see them for what they really are, tiny fleeting glimpses of accidental cinematic perfection. Glorifying the prestige, humiliation, and spite of a life in show business, I try to disfigure my own celebrity, the only obscenity left in the art world, and combine the secret shame of today's film business with the hostility outsiders feel towards contemporary art. Then we can indeed study art for pride and power.